Windows 7 has done a good job of making some hard to find tweaks for Windows and fixes a lot easier to find. And one of those is the autoplay for CDs, for your card reader, for your digital camera, for your MP3 player, whatever things that you plug into your computer and you want it to do certain functions. That's called the autoplay. And occasionally Windows forgets what you want to do or another program may take it over and you want to switch back to a different program for the autoplay. Previously that was a very difficult thing to find and get corrected permanently. But here in Windows 7 you can do it quite easily. Just click the start button and immediately start typing auto, A-U-T-O. And you're going to get the autoplay option from the control panel. And in this one clear dialog box, you can see that you've got all these different options of what do you want it to do with a blank CD, a blank DVD. What do you want it to do with anything that has pictures in it? So if I don't want it to ask me every time and I want to use Picasa every time, I can change it. If I want to import using the Windows, I can do that there. If I get a DVD movie in there, I can tell it, play it with whatever player I want to choose instead of asking me what to do. So using this one tool here called the autoplay, you can have complete control over what happens when you plug an item into your computer, whether it be your phone, your digital camera, DVDs, CDs. After you've made the changes that you want, make sure you click the Save button here at the bottom. Don't click the X because that will be the same thing as Cancel. So make sure you do click save.